Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to show you how to route the Oppo Find 7. So it's a very simple guide that I've read online and it seems to be the suggested guide by many users out there. It is the root genius root method. Uh, so I'd like to thank Tim Connor, a member on the Oppo forums, for actually publishing a guide. Um, and on the guide it says um, very simply on how to do it. So I'm going to show you that. So first of all, you want to go um, on this um, website and it comes to Root Genius and you hit download. It's a 4.7 megabyte file and it opens up with an EXE. So it's over here. So we're going to open that in just a little bit. And b But before we do that, we're going to go down on the phone and enable a USB debugging. And you might be thinking, why do you need that? Well, that's because it needs to communicate with the software. So if we uh, go on the Oppo, go into settings, um, and you want to enable developer mode first. So if you want to go to about phone and go to build number, you want to hit build number several times and enable developer mode. As you can see, there's no need for me to do it because I'm already a developer. If I go back, go to more, you can see developer options come up there and you, then you can enable develop, uh, USB debugging. So enable that uh, before you connect it up to the PC. So now we're going to open up uh, Root Genius and then we're going to connect up uh, the phone. So I'm going to take you up over here to my PC screen and open up Root Genius. You're going to want to be opening this up as a administrator so just make sure you uh, do that. So here we go it's just on so there we go. So now as you can see enable USB demug mode and connect to the PC. So that's exactly what I'm going to do I'm going to connect it up to my PC right now. So the phone is now connected up to the PC and sometimes, as you can see, you'll need to um, install the driver, and that's absolutely normal. So I'm just going to let that um, download, which shouldn't take too much time at all. Um, but once that's done, it should be a very simple step, and then the phone should reboot. So let's go ahead and this. So we're going to just try and retry that, and the reason why is because I have to allow... Um, allow USB debugging so I need to tick allow a uh, USB debugging on my phone um, it comes up as a pop-up like that so I'm just gonna press OK and now we're gonna retry there we go as you can see um, you know you can flash custom ROMs and everything like that all good stuff um, and so we're gonna just hit root it as you can see the phone just um, buzzed so just leave it connected, don't disconnect it, just let it do its thing. It's at 21% right now um, on the software. So you can see, now it's just booting up. You can see starting apps. And just to show you on screen right now, it's been reconnected. It's still at 21%. I'm going to unlock the phone, just in case it needs to be unlocked um, due to security reasons. And there we go. Congrats! <laughs> Root successful. So now I'm going to just show you on my phone um, that it is successfully rooted. So to do that, I'm going to go on Titanium Backup, which is my the best way to show you that I've got Root. Um, and there it is. And there you go. It's as simple as that. And there. Yes, that's fine. As you can see, it is rooted and it's got root access. If I tap for more info, you can see it right there. So it's as simple as that. It's really literally a one click step to do. Um, just as an FYI as well, sometimes if you open up the software, obviously it's a root, so it's going to uh, potentially be flagged up on a antivirus software. That is completely normal, but as you can see, it worked absolutely fine with me. There's no virus or anything like that. Um, and I've got ESET security um, you know, to protect my PC. So don't be worried just in case it does pop up. It is absolutely normal because obviously it's a root access. Um, it is uh, modifying, it's like a key, so to speak. So of course it's gonna flag up on your PC. It didn't do on mine, but it might do. And I've heard of some people say, oh, I don't wanna use it because it's flagging up. It's fine, you can use a different method if you want, but this is the best way uh, to root your Oppo Find 7. 
Anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I've been totally dubbed. Um, and yeah, make sure you subscribe uh, for more, um, for more um, videos and uh, yeah, take care. Totally dubbed out. Bye bye.